Learning Toolkit. Let's learn all about the dinosaurs that lived at the same time as T. Rex in the Cretaceous period. Let's learn all about Velociraptor. <laughs> How do you say that again? V, L, C, R, A, P, T. Sometimes they were just called raptors. Velociraptors were smaller than you might think. After seeing Jurassic World, they were roughly the size of a turkey. <laughs> It was quite long, though, about as long as a full-size bed. How much did a Velociraptor weigh? They weighed up to 15 kilograms. That's about the weight of two small dogs. <laughs> Velociraptor walked on two legs and had sharp claws measuring three inches long on its feet. These were used to catch its food. Smaller dinosaurs. Scientists think the Velociraptor actually had feathers like a bird. This was probably to keep them warm, though, or to show off, not to fly. It's thought that Velociraptor hunted in packs, so it would have been surrounded by lots of other raptors. Do you know what Velociraptor means? It means speedy thief, because it was so quick and agile. It was so fast. That it would have the world record in the 100 meter sprint if it could race. Velociraptor was found in Mongolia and China. It lived about 75 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. That was the same time as T. Rex. We hope you enjoyed learning about the exciting Velociraptor. Now it's time for Spinosaurus. How do you say that again? Spy, no, saw, rus. Can you say it with me? Spy, no, saw, rus. Do you know how big a Spinosaurus was? It was one of the biggest carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived. It was bigger than a T. Rex. It was as long as a semi-trailer truck. How much did Spinosaurus weigh? It weighed as much as three elephants. Spinosaurus means spine lizard. Can you guess why? Because of these huge spines on its back. The spines grew up to seven feet long. That's taller than a human. Much like the plates on a Stegosaurus, scientists think that the spines were either used to keep it warm from the sun, or to attract other Spinosauruses. It had a unique head for a carnivore. Just like a crocodile, it was long and thin. And like crocodiles, it's thought that Spinosaurus could also swim. Unlike lots of other meat-eating dinosaurs, Spinosaurus had large arms, so strong. This meant that as well as walking on two legs, it could also walk on all fours. Spinosaurus was found in North Africa. They lived about 100 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Cretaceous. We hope you enjoyed learning about the incredible Spinosaurus. Now it's time for Baryonyx. Ba, ri, on, ix. 
How do you say that again? Ba, ri, on, ix. How big was a baryonyx? It grew to be longer than a bus. It weighed as much as a rhino. Baryonyx means heavy claw because it had one large claw on each hand. It was the first dinosaur discovered that ate fish. It would use its big claws to catch them like a spear fisherman. Baryonyx was discovered by a plumber. Baryonyx was related to Spinosaurus and had a similar face. Long and thin, just like a crocodile. Unlike a Spinosaurus, Baryonyx spent most of its time walking on two legs. It's had over 90 teeth, twice as many as a T-Rex. Baryonyx was found in Europe. They lived about 125 million years ago in the early Cretaceous period. With Iguanodon. We hoped you enjoyed learning about the ferocious Baryonyx. To learn about more dinosaurs, now it's time for Iguanodon. I gua na don. How do you say that again? I gua na don. How heavy was an Iguanodon? It was as heavy as two cars. And it was as long as a bus. Iguanodon means iguana tooth because the person that found its first tooth thought it was from a large lizard like a giant iguana. When Iguanodon was found in Belgium, it was found with 34 other Iguanodons. They like travelling together in herds. Iguanodon was a large herbivore that could walk on two legs or on all fours. It had a very large spiked thumb. It was always given two thumbs up. When it was discovered first, scientists thought that it went on its nose. The spiky thumb was used to protect itself against predators. It also had a very flexible little finger to move plants and trees around to help it eat. Mmm, -mm, delicious! Iguanodon was found in Belgium, Spain and some other parts of Europe, plus the USA and Africa. It really got around. They lived around 125 million years ago in the early Cretaceous period. with a dinosaur called Baryonyx. So what have we learned? We hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing Iguanodon. Now it's time for Ankylosaurus. How do you say that again? an ki lo sor How big was an Ankylosaurus? It was as long as a bus. and as heavy as two hippos. <coughs> it was like a tank, big and strong and covered in armoured scales. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard because bones in its skull and other parts of its body were fused together. 
making it very tough. Whilst their top was very hard, they had a very soft underbelly that was not protected by any armour. It also had a big old club on its tail. This was used to defend itself against predators, like the T-Rex, which was around at the same time. Ankylosaurus would eat leaves and plants that were low on the ground easy for it to reach. Because it was so big and heavy, its top speed was only around 6 miles an hour. That's the same speed as a human jogging. Not fast enough to outrun a T-Rex though. Ankylosaurus was found in North America, just like Triceratops and T-Rex. They lived about 67 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. Again with Triceratops and T-Rex. We hope you enjoyed learning about the brilliant Ankylosaurus. Now it's time for... Triceratops! Tri... Sarah... Tops. Can you say it with me? Tri... Sarah... Tops. Let's learn all about Triceratops. Triceratops was found in North America. It lived about 68 million years ago, in the late Cretaceous period. Cretaceous. Triceratops means three horned face. It had two large horns above its eyes. Let's count them. One, two. The third was a very small one, made up of the same stuff that's in your fingernail. Do you know how big a Triceratops was? Triceratops was as big as a truck. It was really heavy. It weighed as much as two elephants. One, two. Its head was almost a third of the length of its entire body. What a big head! What did Triceratops eat? Triceratops was a herbivore. That means it was a vegetarian. It ate plants, not meat. Mmm, -mm, delicious! Triceratops had no teeth. So how did it eat all those veggies? Instead of chewing, it ate rocks that ground up the plants in its belly. Imagine a belly full of rocks. Oof! Triceratops used its horns and the frill around its neck to defend itself against other dinosaurs. It also used its horns and frill to butt heads with and to attract other Triceratops. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating Triceratops. Let's learn all about the most famous dinosaur ever, Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
How do you say that again? Tyrannosaurus rex. It's often called T Rex for short, though. T Rex was really big and quick. In fact, it was as big as a bus. And it could run as fast as one. How heavy was a T Rex? A fully grown T Rex was really heavy. It weighed as much as four rhinos. It walked on two huge legs and it used its large head to balance its very long tail. T Rex had two arms, and while they may look small, they were very powerful and featured two clawed fingers. Yikes! What did T Rex eat? It was most definitely a carnivore. That means it ate meat from other dinosaurs. No plants here. T Rex had huge teeth. Its teeth were the largest found from any carnivorous dinosaur, around 30 centimeters long. It had the most powerful bite of any land animal ever. A T Rex had growth spurts just like humans do. When T Rex hit the age of 14, it would put on loads of weight around 600 kilograms a year over the next four years. 600 kilograms is how much a large polar bear weighs. T Rex had really good eyesight and it could see four times as far as humans. No need for glasses here. Do you know what Tyrannosaurus rex means? It means king of the tyrant lizards because it was the most famous of a group of ferocious dinosaurs. T-Rex was found in North America just like the giant Brachiosaurus but not at the same time. It lived about 75 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. Cru, te, shus. So they would have been neighbors with Triceratops, but they weren't friends. We hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most famous of all the dinosaurs. We learned that Velociraptor was only the size of a turkey and it only weighed as much as two small dogs. They walked on two legs with a big sharp claw on each foot. They probably had some feathers, but they weren't for flying. They hunted in packs with other raptors. Velociraptor means speedy thief because it was so quick and agile. It was very fast. It would have the world record in the 100 meter sprint. Velociraptor was found in Mongolia and China and it lived about 75 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Same as T-Rex. We learned Spinosaurus was one of the biggest carnivores that ever lived. Bigger than a T-Rex, as long as a semi-trailer truck and weighing as much as three elephants. Spinosaurus means spine lizard because of those huge spines. The spines on its back were bigger than a human. They were up to seven feet long and they were either used to keep it warm or to attract other Spinosauruses. It had a head like a crocodile. It could probably swim and also walked on two legs or four. How versatile. Spinosaurus was found in North Africa and it lived about 100 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. We learned Baryonyx grew to be longer than a bus and weighed as much as a rhino. Baryonyx means heavy claw because it had one large claw on each hand. It was the first dinosaur discovered that ate fish and it was discovered by a plumber. 
Baryonyx was related to Spinosaurus, and both had a similar face like a crocodile. But unlike Spinosaurus, Baryonyx spent most of its time on two legs. It had 90 teeth, twice as many as a T-Rex. And it was found in Europe. They lived about 125 million years ago in the early Cretaceous period. With Iguanodon. We learned an Iguanodon was as heavy as two cars and as long as a bus. Iguanodon means iguana tooth because when they found the first tooth, they thought it was from a large lizard, like a giant iguana. It was found in Belgium, with 34 other iguanodons. It was a large herbivore and walked on two or four legs. It had a very large spike thumb, two thumbs up, just like Fonzie. Scientists thought the spike went on its nose, but it used it to protect itself against predators. And it also had a flexible little finger to move plants and trees around to eat. It was found in Belgium, Spain and some other parts of Europe, plus the USA and Africa. And it lived about 125 million years ago in the early Cretaceous period with Baryonyx. We learned that Ankylosaurus was as big as a bus and as heavy as two hippos. It was like a tank covered in armour. Very tough. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard because its bones were fused together. But while the top was hard, its underbelly was very soft. It had a big club on its tail to defend itself against dinosaurs like T-Rex. It ate very low leaves and plants because it wasn't very tall. Because it was so big and heavy, Ankylosaurus could only run as fast as a human jogging. It couldn't outrun T-Rex. It was found in North America and lived 67 million years ago in the Cretaceous period with Triceratops and T-Rex. We learned Triceratops was found in North America. It lived 68 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Triceratops means three horned face. It had two huge horns and one that was like a fingernail. It was as big as a truck and weighed as much as two elephants. It had a very big head and it ate lots of veggies, but used rocks in its belly to chew them instead of teeth. Triceratops used its horns and frill to defend itself and also to attract other Triceratops. So what have we learned? We learned T-Rex was as big and quick as a bus. And it weighed as much as four rhinos. It walked on two legs and used its huge head to balance its very long tail. T-Rex had two small arms that were surprisingly powerful. It was a carnivore, which means it ate meat, not plants. It had the biggest teeth found in any carnivore, and it had the most powerful bite of any land animal ever. A T-Rex had growth spurts. When it turned 14 years old, it started putting on about 600 kilograms a year for four years. It could see really well. No glasses here. Tyrannosaurus rex means king of the tyrant lizards. And it was found in North America, just like Brachiosaurus. It lived about 75 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, alongside Triceratops. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the wonderful Cretaceous dinosaurs, all the friends of T-Rex. Bye Tyrannosaurus Rex! Bye Velociraptor! Bye Spinosaurus! Bye, Baryonyx. Bye, Iguanodon. Bye, Ankylosaurus. Bye, Triceratops. To learn about more dinosaurs, please make sure you subscribe and don't forget to comment down below on what dinosaur you want to see next. Finally, you can click the links at the end of this video for more dinosaur facts.